Hey guys, I'm Sly. And I'm Red. And welcome to our channel. If this is your first time watching us, we're two really passionate young gamers and we play anything from NES to Xbox 360. We like all sorts of games and technology. We've been collecting since we were toddlers. And we just want to share a little bit with you guys what we do on a daily basis regarding technology, games, maybe even non-gaming related stuff. So we'll be making videos together and separately. It just depends what kind of mood we're in. I'll be doing some reviews, maybe a playthrough or two. And I'll usually take apart stuff, that's what I like doing. So I'll show you how to clean an old game cartridge, or maybe fix a console that's been faulty and not working. I already have a few of those videos, so we'll be uploading older stuff that we've done. So yeah, that's basically, we're going to be making just down-to-earth, unscripted videos. That's the kind of people we are, we're not going to write fancy things and do cover art for every one of our videos. Fancy animations. We're kids, and we just want to show you the kind of stuff we're interested in. And uh, we've got the Sega Dreamcast running here in the background, it actually just faded a little bit. <laughs> that was weird. So we'll give you a little tour of each of our gaming setups for 2014. So we'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Sly again. Happy belated new year. Um, I wanted to do a quick tour of my room, my gaming setup for 2014. So here's this awesome little couch that I just got from Ikea. It's a futon, it folds out into a bed. Really comfy for gaming. And this is my console setup. So right now I just have one big CRT with everything kind of hooked up to it. These are all my consoles. I'll start from the bottom. Recently acquired this Xbox. I'm happy with it. Huh? better than I thought it was going to be. The PS2 here that I've had since childhood is broken. The laser is shot. So this is like a good substitute for it until I get another PS2 or replace the laser or something. Only have a couple games for it, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's a nice console. It's very high-tech. I like it a lot. Down here, this is my only other broken-ish console. It's a original Sony PlayStation. All that it is is it's missing a disc spindle, as you can see. So as soon as I get one, I know the laser works fine. I've tested it with a different one. So, yeah, that'll be a working PS1. Up here, just got this for Christmas. It's a Sega Saturn. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's shiny. I love this console so much. It plays awesome games. It's way underrated. I think it should be way up there with the PS1 in terms of sales and popularity. Really impressive. Very happy with it. Up here, not to be distracted by the Saturn, but is the Dreamcast, and oh, I love this thing too, just as equally. Plays awesome games, I have a growing collection for it. Yeah, it's, mine's a little yellowed, it came that way, but I love this thing, and just its compatibility with the internet, and it's, it's really up there with the PS2. It's got some great games, and I grew up with the PS2, but I'm really, really getting into the Dreamcast and the Sega stuff, especially. Love those two. Over here, this was my first ever console. It's the original PS1. It's still in great condition, I don't know how, but this one works. Same exact thing as that, but yeah, I've been playing my PS1 games on there since the PS2 is broken. Yeah, there's so many... Since the PS2 broke, it basically inspired me to start playing other games on other consoles, and that's how this started. Up here I've got a GameCube. Now I don't have any games for this yet, or any cables or controllers or anything. Just the console that I found at a thrift store, so hopefully I can get something started on there because I'm looking forward to it. Been playing a lot of Dreamcast. And last but not least is the Super Nintendo. Now this is in perfect condition as you can see. Got an amazing, amazing deal on it. And I hope to keep it this way. All these shirts and cloths and things that you see on the floor here I keep all of my consoles covered regularly to prevent them from getting dusty and to prevent them from yellowing like that. Especially the Super Nintendo, I want to stay in this pristine condition. Really love it. My oldest console, some great games on there. Just great fun with friends and the couch and stuff. So those are all my consoles as of right now. Over here... I've got my Nintendo 3DS. It's a really great handheld. I recommend it a lot. Blew away my expectations as well as a lot of other people. The circle pad is a really nice feature. It's just a great thing. It's like having a console on the go. Love it. 
been playing Pokemon X and stuff on there. Down here, just got some old laptops down here with like Windows 95 and 2000 Millennium Edition on there. Hopefully can get some RPG Maker or something going on there eventually. And here is where I keep all my controllers. I'll do a lot of tutorials on how to take apart controllers because I'm really, really picky about having them be super clean. I actually already did one on the Dreamcast, so I'll upload that. Uh, got a SNES mouse down there. Some cool peripherals. Got an eye toy for the PlayStation. Back some cool stuff. In here, just random earbuds and things. That is this corner of the room, and that those drawers actually act as my nightstand too, is my bed. Up here, I've got this Mega Man X4 wall scroll that I got from the Anime Expo last year. Yes, last year. It's 2014 now. Um, really nice piece to my room to go along with the game setup. Just got a Rise Against poster over there. I like them. Really good band. Oh, I forgot. In there, in here, I've got a flat screen TV and another little CRT. So maybe I'll make like a little corner here and add another TV because it's a pain to uh, switch all these cables. I've been trying to do some management. Got the Dreamcast and the PS1 hooked up there, but all the other cables are, you know, running about. So working on that. That's my console setup. Over here, going to try to move this over there, but this is my game shelf slash other media. At the top, we've got all my cartridge games, Super Nintendo stuff. You'll recognize some of these titles. I mean, everyone has Super Mario World and stuff. Great fun. Over here, I've got a couple Genesis games. I don't have a Genesis yet. I've been looking for one, but I just picked those up recently. Got just, just some Game Boy games, random stuff floating around. The majority of my collection is PS2, because that's what I grew up with as a kid. There are some absolutely great games in here, like Burnout 3, Need for Speed Underground 2, Ratchet and Clank, Spyro, Final Fantasy X, Soul Calibur 2, I mean, you name it, Sonic Heroes, so many great games, and it overflows down to here. Now, over here, I only have two Xbox games working on that because I just recently started collecting. Since I liked Burnout 3 so much, I figured I would get the first one, see how that is. Not expecting as much, but Sega GT is fun, and Jet Set Radio Future is great. Have the original one down there. In here, just a few Wii games. Red has the Wii in his room, but these ones, I don't know, they're really close to me, and he lets me keep them in my room. Some PC games here, Dungeon Siege, Ion, Riven. These are PS1 games that I've lost the cases for, sadly. Like Spyro and Ridge Racer. Keep them in those, keep the discs safe. Random animes down here, mangas, still have to read this one, it's sealed. Down here, got a couple Sega Saturn games that I just got. Uh, one of them's a baseball game, not thrilled with it, but this one's awesome, the Touring Car Championship. I need to try to find the arcade steering wheel to play that. Be really fun, love racing games. Over here, more PS1 stuff. These, again, I lost, you know, the cases for, but I still have some of the manuals. Oops. <laughs> um, so, yeah. You know, Inuyasha. And now over here, it starts to go into Dreamcast. I've got Sonic Adventure, which I'm going to be playing. And all sorts of good stuff. Fantasy Star Online, Dead or Alive, Power Stone. Great Dreamcast games. I love that console. And just a few 3DS and DS games, Pokemon Animal Crossing, Fire Emblem, and Mario Kart. So that is my slow but meager games collection. Oh, I almost forgot. In here I've got this sealed Mac 512K game called Shadowgate on floppy disks. I don't know how I found this, but it's from 1987. And... It's worth a lot of money. <laughs> I want to play it before I end up doing something else with it, at least, so. Been holding on to that. And some Sonic comic books in here. Just random discs and things. Yeah, I have this shelf in case I need to fill up more games with there, but, uh. Oh, and up here I've got a, uh, my 3DS box and my graphics card box. It's a Sapphire Radeon HD 5450. Kind of old. That graphics card is from like 2005, but it's been holding up great on my main desktop. 
which is out in the living room. It's not in my room. Uh, DS bag. This stuff isn't game related. This is my acoustic guitar. I usually keep it over there in front of the consoles because I like to jam on my couch sometimes. But it's over here for now. Got this lamp that I don't know what to do with that my grandparents got me, but it looks really cool. And over here, I've got an iMac. Yay. Just recently got this as well. It's a strawberry red one. And it's so much fun. <laughs> so classic. I love it. It doesn't have the best processor or anything, but really fun for some old school games like Nanosaur. And I've got this one called Shogo Mobile Armor Division. It's really funny. I'll have to do a video on that. The, the characters are hilarious. And just some random, like a Nest Sprite and wolf hog, random figurines and stuff. So that's a look at my game setup and be recording a lot of stuff in here. You guys, you know, comment ideas, requests that I should do for games and uh, again, late Happy New Year and I'll talk to you guys soon. This is just a quick look at Red's room now. He's my brother and he's not the cleanest person in the world, but uh, this is how he games. We got a replacement PS2, so I can play all my PS2 games if I want to. That thing has held up for years. It's a slim one. It's got the Wii, which is okay. It's having some problems, but he's also got a big old CRT. And he's got an NES, which is a nice touch. He's got a uh, original. It's got that scuff over there. Hey, that wasn't there. I'm going to have to lecture him on that. But really nice touch. We've got some great games for it, and uh, it's very retro. We found this NES Advantage. It's like brown, but for a dollar at flea market, works perfectly. The guy said it was broken. I plugged it in, and it works perfectly. So basically, free NES Advantage. <laughs> That's where he keeps his controllers and stuff. And all his games are lined up back. You can see just a ridiculous amount of PS2 stuff that we have way too many PS2 games <laughs> very few others we do actually have a couple GameCube games I'm mistaken Sonic Gems and Mega Man ooh Mega Man Network transmission. see I don't come in here a lot so never know what I find uh, he's got some Game Boy stuff in here that Pokemon Red is mine in there I've been letting him play it more Wii games DS games he also has Pokemon Y so we've been playing X and Y a lot and yeah, he's got an old HP with Windows XP on it, so that's how he games. All you have to do is go right down the hall and back to the nice clean land of organized games. So thanks for sitting it out with me, guys, and thanks for taking some time to look at our game setup. Going to be uploading as much as possible. If I get too much, like, screen glare and stuff from the CRT, I guess I'll switch to the flat screen. Games just look much better on the CRT, in my opinion, especially old games like Super Nintendo, PS1, and stuff. So, thanks for watching, and we will talk to you soon and upload more games. Thanks.